What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, this gentleman up here, right? His name is Turnell Cartagena. He's out of Broward County, Florida. Shout out Broward County. And he's 22 years old. Rest of his life ahead of him. Before I tell you what this guy did or show you what he did in the news, um, we all have people or know people that want to be the man and want to be known for something. Maybe it's getting something nobody else can get or, you know, knowing a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy. This is usually that type of guy, the one that lurks in the shadows and uh, doesn't want his name to really be known. And uh, you go to him when you want to get something illegal. In the case of this guy, this guy has been arrested for our wording. Oh, I hate saying that. Two young girls, underage girls. And uh, they're asking for people to come forward. Anybody else that's came in contact with him and been offered the same proposition as these girls were that they took the proposition and you know i want you guys to take a look at this story and i'm gonna come back and say a couple of things check it out their safety alert tonight a young man facing felony charges accused of raping two teenagers and police fear there may be more victims local tense cody weddle is live in coconut creek with more their first encounter with him happened here, the promenade at Coconut Creek. A 13-year-old girl and her friend who was under 16. They wanted vape pens. A friend put them in touch with 22-year-old Turnell Cartagena, who went by Nook. He supplied the vapes and exchanged numbers with the girls. Then, later that night, Nook texted the girl's phone, asking her if she wanted to hook up with him. According to one girl, her friend was hesitant because she knew Nook was older. Just the way this guy operated and, and what he did, it leads us to believe there could be more victims out there that we would like to find. Police say Nook later picked up the girls, taking them to a back parking lot of this apartment complex on Lyons Road, where they performed oral sex on him, later dropping off one of the girls and taking the 13-year-old to this parking lot on Sample Road, where they had sex. In text messages later, Nook said that he wanted to bring a 20-year-old and 21-year-old males to have sex with them in exchange for nicotine and weed. But she told him no, and she also told him it was a bad idea. When you look at this, this was predatory behavior, you know. So it is important for parents to understand that there are guys out there like this. Police now want any other potential victims to come forward. The more charges that we can put on this guy, then the longer we can keep him from doing this again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the uh, story of Turnell Cartagena, age 22 out of Broward County. And uh, at 22 years old, you would think he would know better. But nowadays, it seems like the mind of a young man in his early 20s is that of the mind of a uh, child in their late teens. This guy right here used what he could do for these girls, which was something illegal, to uh, his advantage. And he looked at it like, oh, they're not going to tell because they're coming to me because they don't want their parents to know or they don't want this. So I got the drop on them. First thing is this. Vape pens, nicotine. We all of that is not for the ingesting of children, even though children do it. You as an older gentleman. Well, into your adulthood should have sent them somewhere else or talk to them about that. But now you want to make money. You want to be seen as the man. And you out here showing out of your own desperation or lust. An opportunity. You look at it as an opportunity. See, that's one of the things about when dudes do this type of stuff. Now, he said one girl was 13, the other one was under 16. Think about it. You looking at these girls on that level? See, that's what I'm saying. This stuff is like street stuff. The streets don't care about your age or nothing. It'll eat you alive. A lot of people are predatory in the streets, such as the case of this idiot right here. He need his head tore off. You do. 
That's somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, somebody's, uh, you know what I'm saying, child. Both of them. And then he said one of the, both of the girls gave him the suck in the parking lot. Then he took one home and kept the other one with him. Which one you think that was he kept with him that he uh, penetrated? I'm thinking it's the one under 16, 13 year old. He did what he could do with her and then let, let her go. Don't know how this man was caught, but he was caught all the same. And he looked dumb and, and, and vape pens. The girls came to you for vape pen, pens. Then what did he do? While he was talking to her, he, he see, this is the thing. He went back to them. They came to him as for a proposition. Hey, you're an older man. Can you do this or not? That was the transaction. That was business. He turned it personal. They left. He checking out their little wares. You know how their bodies look? He hit old girl up. Had a little bit of uh, camaraderie when he was talking to him. Got a feel for him. Came right back like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Came right back through the text message. Talking with him for a while. You want to hook up? One girl say no. Then she's like, oh, I'm hesitant. You know what I'm saying? Because he's older. I'm thinking she's following over the, the advice of the one that was older than her. Under 16. They friends. Partners in crime. Probably go with me to make sure nothing happened. Get out there. Do what they do. One with it. Young one probably not with it. Send her home. He want to have private time with this one because she, she giving him some kickback. Like his vibe. Like, you know, she giving him some rhythm. And, th and things transpired the way they transpired. A lot of people might say, oh, well, she gave him, you know, it was, it was consensual. She did consent. Yeah, but if you go in the court of law, you cannot say consensual sex is something between a child and, and a man. It doesn't exist. It's, it's not. You know, and it's, it's one of these things where. Do I think the girls was fast ass? Yeah, because they doing this. My another thing is this, you know. Where the parents at? They, this happened at night. Where the parents at? I don't care if you with another teen girl. You 13 years old and the other girls. Where y'all at? I knew where my children was at all times. And if I call, you better pick up that damn phone. You know what I mean? When, I, when I, we was younger, at that age, 13 and stuff like that, unless I was with somebody that was vetted already, that was older, you know, and from my neighborhood that... We knew their parents and all this other stuff. I couldn't go off the block with this purse, let alone go hang somewhere because they was validated as good kids and they wouldn't get you in trouble. But then again, you don't know what kids would do when you're not around. And I get the benefit of that. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. This whole thing is stupid. It's stupid. And he know better. It all fall on him. He could have been like, yo. And like, this is my thing. You dealing with kids, you doing illegal stuff with them, number one, which is wrong. But for you to go all the way in on it. It got to turn sexual. Why? Why? Make it make sense. Why, why does it have to get to that point? You 22 years old, bro. I want to hear nothing. Ain't nothing you can say to make this right because you know better. You do. Get your head bust. People are opportunistic out here, and it seems like it's a war being fought between daily citizens, predators, especially a war on women, especially young women. You're starting to see them disappearing like, like puffs of smoke. A lot of times the predator in the same house with them. I don't know where this came from, but it's just like all of a sudden it's just a woof. Here it is. A whole bunch of just madness. I'm not lying. If I was a young woman or a woman, period, I'd be scared as hell. The first thing I'd do is go out here and get a gun because you don't know when the hell is going to happen. Man, they got young kids, 18, 19, 20 years old, running up on 70 year old women, groping on them and trying to take take their goodies and stuff. Whether goodies is old or not, they still try to take. Them. Lord, how mercy. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, what's going on with the world, man? For real. It's like nobody knows. The difference between right or wrong and especially young men now, it's like nobody knows what's acceptable and what's not. What, what a man would do and what a boy would do and like the difference in between the two and universally what you don't do to somebody underage 
or just a girl, period. That's just me thinking about it. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. They asked some people if they encountered this guy and he did the same thing to them to come forward. But I don't know if that's going to happen because if the young girls come forward, they expose themselves with letting their parents know that they were doing something illegal that they didn't. So we'll see. See you in the next video. Take care.